Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. Peace and mercy to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. And this is really just another quick reminder. Um, this this thing that's winding down is going to creep up on everyone else unaware. All of a sudden, there will be turmoil for them. All of a sudden. There will be a lack of food. All of a sudden, there will be uh, uh, civil wars and then Second Ezra 15 coming to, pa- come to pass. Um, most people will not be prepared. And then some will be carnally prepared. But only those singing a new song, only the 144,000, those who were chosen from the foundation of the earth will be spiritually prepared. And they were given the, you know, the, the gift to do so. Now this is retired Colonel Lawrence Wilkerson. All right, on the fall. Uh, actually, you can look at this whole thing on your own. You can just type that in to YouTube and find it. But I'm just gonna grab a couple of scriptures and then um, that'll be it. But this is just you know another quick strike during the week. So here we go. Today on another television show here in the United States, that I think the empire, the American empire is in its last stage. Usually when the empires are in their final stages, and you can look at any of the thousands of empires that have been in existence over the last 5,000 years of human history, and you'll find this, at the end of their reigns, as it were, they usually do some pretty disastrous things for the rest of the people in the world around them, whether they're Rome, Eastern or Western, or the Mughal or the Mongol or the Ottoman or the British or whatever. I think that's what we're doing now. We are essentially unraveling all of the fabric of international human Ameri- humanitarian law, international criminal law, the ICC, the ICJ, the Court of uh, World Arbitration, all the things that we work for since, really since World War II and in the wake of World War II, all the things we've worked for, including the UN, we are destroying. We are the first empire in human history to have the technical means to destroy ourselves. And the- right, and that is why, you know, the earth being given into the hand of the wicked, right, Job 9 and 24. Um, these devils, they're unfit to rule. They have everything at their fingertips, <laughs> right? This could, I mean, if the Lord willed it, this could have been a great empire. Um, if, but it wasn't meant to last, and this devil was not meant to rule. And I implore you to look up what was going on politically before the the Egyptian Empire crashed, before the the Roman Empire crashed, and I'm talking about the pagan Roman around 300 A.D. Uh, look up the things that were happening, the infighting, the 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 uh, things that were happening within, and how the military was stretched too thin, and how they they went. Um, uh, uh, the defense budget was just overspending, and then anybody that tried to do right by the people, they were killed. <clears throat> um, but let me read this before. I <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> let me read this uh, first scripture, and then I'll, I'll get a small little snippet because I did pull it up on um, the old Google machine. Proverbs twenty-two and three. Three. 22 and 3 a, pr- a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself but the simple pass on and are punished there's going to be a lot of simple people getting punished oh I do need that anyway day of the lord is darkness and not light okay so let's get something real real quick Alright, um, the political landscape was marked by extreme instability. What do we have now? Billions of dollars going where they don't need to go, but most Americans don't even have money for a thousand dollar emergency. I think it's like up to 80% of Americans don't have money. Wouldn't, could, uh, or a thousand dollar emergency would break them. Um, <laughs> the political, as far as the uh, presidential, Standing is look at creepy sleepy Joe. Where is he at? They are being caught lying left and right, um, and basically the government was infiltrated by a uh, uh, 
uh, how should we say, um, people who wear small hats on the crown of their head. Yeah, you know, they they have a lot of uh, money going in so that congressmen and other political parties and other folks uh, that have any sort of pull within the nation, um, they toss a little money their way and next thing you know, they vote in the interests that are not within, for the, are, are for the greater good of Babylon or what we call America. And that is why these folks, even some of our people, even though that they are waking up a little bit and they can see that the Democratic Party is not for them, they're still in the trick bag because they're leaning Republican, which I mean, I guess would be better if in the grand scheme of things, this wasn't a spiritual uh, uh, instance that is going on. Uh, if this was all carnal, then yeah, hey, finally, way to pull your head out of your ass. But uh, it isn't. So let's read through here. Okay, so extreme instability, including frequent changes in emperors due to military uprisings. Civil wars, which we got on the way. A decline of power of the Senate. Increasing corruption within the government. And a growing reliance on military to maintain power. Uh, to maintain power. All right, all while facing uh, mounting pressures from barbarian invasions at the border. What do we have? An open border. Um... And then they split the empire between east and west. But yeah, you can look into this on your own. I didn't want to spend too much time on it real quick. But I'm just going to gra gather a couple of scriptures. Just just to, as a reminder to prepare yourself mentally. Prepare yourself, most importantly, spiritually. Right? Leaning on Yahweh, 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 Shai. And of course, I am preaching to self. Because none of us really know what we're going to do when you get that news. Or, you know, when, when something pops up breaking news or or, or, or or emergency thing goes out and then you finally see what's happening um you know you don't want to basically you know when you get punched in the face you know every what did mike tyson say everybody has a plan so they get punched in the face when that punch in the face comes we need to know how to bob weave dodge you know lean back and return fire however it is that you got to do but you do that by building up the spirit man now um, if you ain't fasting, if you ain't praying, um, I mean, I, I guess you don't have to fast. I, you should, but what what you have to be doing is praying. Um, you know, walking in with a broken and contrite spirit and doing things that put you under the vibration of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. That way you are not a friend of this world. You are a friend of the Lord who is omnipotent and all-knowing and all-powerful, who is in control of all this. Um, <laughs> I, it would behoove you. To be in line with the one who's in control of all things who prophesied this who put this in this book who gave you the power and spirit to read and understand and to say oh this is what the lord said let's get it on let's let's get this thing going all right so this is romans 11 i'm sorry romans 13 uh we'll do yeah 11 through 13 romans 13 11 through 13 and that knowing that the time Knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now it is our salvation near than we were then we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Right, walking in that vi proper vibration, basically. Uh, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness drunkenness nor in chambering and wantonness not in strife and envying put ye on the lord hamashiach yahweh shai and make no provision for the flesh for uh, to fulfill the lust thereof all right because all this is temporary it will pass away and the lord will see to it that we are provided for but that is something that you have to really really have faith in if it was easy, then we everybody would be doing it. Uh, speaking of faith. Hebrews 11 and 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of God, the things not seen as yet, moved with fear, moved with fear, moved with fear, and prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. We got to have that. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. You can read the rest of that. 
all right by faith abraham okay through faith also sarah all right um and we're gonna get one more about that day creeping up on unawares This is Luke 21, and I'm going to read 30, 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, which will weigh you down, which will cause you to be destroyed. All right? And so that day come upon you unawares, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always that ye may be accounted. Uh, Accounted, accounted worthy it says accounted but I guess it's you know accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man and that's that's what we're looking for that is what the that no that is what we are looking for to be able to stand in front of Yahweh Shai and not be ashamed and and to receive the blessing make it out of all of this mess that is foretold to come and to receive that blessing all right, receive that salvation on that first go round, but you got to have faith. Um, and again, I will get. Let me get Amos five and eighteen, and then that'll be it. Because all these Christians are talking about when their white Jesus comes back, but they don't. Know, <laughs> they don't know the hell that they are asking for. They don't know the terror that they are bringing. That they are speaking upon themselves. Right, so this is Amos 5 <coughs> and 18, and that'll be it, man. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned, on, leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very darkness and no brightness in it? That's what's coming, and it is swiftly approaching all right so you know this again is just something quick continue to pray continue to build up that inner man that spirit man so that you can stand when this day of trouble try finally reaches a full flare or reaches its apex right we really when we really get to see how these prophecies are played out because Esther said woe is me who will deliver me in those days he was sick when he saw these visions So it's high time we, uh, if anybody sleep, wake up out of it and really, truly build up your faith and lean on the Lord. Pray. Hold fast and pray. All right. With that being said, Shalom.